development of money so it can be multiplied. If I want to believe God for a $65 million plane, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from dreaming. They discover life on Mars. If you think a $65 million plane was too much, if they discover that there's life on Mars, they going to need to hear the God. Saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for you. because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace. Understand it clearly because I had not yet been at all saying to you, throw away every book, every tape, and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing, unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. Is so why are two factors? Fear and guilt. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time to keep people in fear and guilt, it is in that subject of tithing. And it has to be corrected. And it's got to be corrected now. I may lose some friends. Preachers may not ever invite me no more, but I think I've already been through that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, first of all, I think me personally, as well, I said, I'm with you, Jeff Jam. Uh, no, don't throw it away. Give me the new book coming. That's what I said. I'm with you, Chess Jam. Uh, no, don't throw it away. Give me the new book coming. That's what I said. I'm with you, Chess Jam. Uh, no, don't throw it away. Give me the new book coming. That's what I said. I'm with you, Chess Jam. Uh, no, don't throw it away. Give me the, new book. the scripture says if you're going to do something by the law rather than doing it by faith, then then operating by the law makes your faith void and the promise unnecessary. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Is it possible that your stance on the law of tithing is the reason why you can't get blessed? Ah. I know that then, sound like then operating by the law makes your faith void and the promise unnecessary. Could it be, could it be, could it be, is it possible that your stance on the law mind. of tithing, but if you do something by the law, the promise is voided. Me sound like I'm just lost my mind. If Paul, but if you is the standard by which the preaching of the grace is to be measured and judged, then we must examine what and mostly there are of his heart. If Paul is the standard by which the Now see, the only thing that's got you with other years right now because I've been teaching and everybody in the world been teaching forever on this traditional way of giving and wouldn't dare say what I just said because they don't know what else to say because they don't understand grace-based giving. I know I'm right about it. Okay, first of all, people have been teaching I, I, I don't mean anyone or guys opposing guys start ties, to stop but for some time. I've been knowing this for a long time. I've just been, okay, either you're lying that you didn't know this for a while or shop right there. I, I, I don't mean anyone of these guys to start and stop, but I've been knowing this for a long time. I've just been, okay, either you're lying that you didn't know this for a while or... Then we must examine God. what and mostly there are of his heart. Y'all getting a chance to see my, my, my awesome editing skills. <laughs> that to be measured and judged, then we must examine what... And there was no law at that time for up tithing. This was 400 years before the law was given, 400 some years before the law was given. So he didn't do it because he was required to, like most churches all teach us. He did it because it flowed out of his heart.
because he started looking at what God has done. And he said, what can what I Abram do? Did it, he took what Abram did and turned it and made it a part of the law of Moses. But I am going to show you what Jesus, what, what, uh, through Paul, showed us now by faith. How do we give? Now by faith, how do we give? And then by faith, get the promise. I can only teach at the time what I knew. Now I'm, I got enough boldness and guts to go against the flow of you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. But by what you mean, you didn't know this before. And I don't even want to say tithe. Abraham gave 10%. 10%. Abraham gave 10%. He could have gave 20. There are places I'm going to show you today where we say Jewish people gave 10%. Jewish people gave, they had almost 14 different tithes to give throughout the year. They gave way more than 10%. We don't want to go around talking about, I'm going to give, I'm going to give God his 10 and the rest of it is mine. Don't you ask me for nothing else. Look, I've already made a commitment to depend on God to take care of me. And I am going to respond by giving because it is a, 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 a signal that I have made my mind up to trust God to take care of me. Now here's what the Lord said to me last week. He said that your giving is a response to God's ability to take care of you. My, I'm not giving so I can get more blessings to come in. I'm not giving so that everything will work right. I am giving, responding to a God who can take care of me spirit, soul, and body and finances and everything else because he knows what I need, when I need it, how I need it, and how much I need it. My giving is a response to God's ability to take care of me. It is my declaration of dependence on God. Every time I give, look, I've already made a commitment to depend on God to take care of me. And I am going to respond by giving because it is a, 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 a signal that I have made my mind up to trust God to take care of me. Now here's what the Lord said to me last week. He said that your giving is a response to God's ability to take care of you. My, I'm not giving so I can get more blessings to come in. I'm not giving so that